A Memphis woman is suing Regions Bank tonight after she says they allowed her to be scammed out of nearly all of her life savings. Action News 5's Priya Bolden joins us live in studio after sitting down with the victim's son, a local attorney, who shared what happened in a story you'll see only on 5. Hi, Bria. Yes, hey Joyce. Well, this lawsuit was filed a week ago. It claims Regions Bank did nothing to protect an elderly Memphis woman's money after she fell victim to scammers overseas. I believe banks have a duty, especially to their elderly customers, to protect them from fraudulent scams like this. 88-year-old Maureen Rosenblum walked into Regions Bank on Poplar in East Memphis on November 29th, 2022, hoping to protect herself from fraud. When she said, can I call my son? He's a lawyer and maybe he'll help you. No, ma'am. They'll know about it and they'll divert and they'll change their actions. This is the only way we can protect your funds and the only way we can protect uh, others from being defrauded. Mom thought she was helping others. So she listened to everything he said. Memphis attorney Jeffrey Rosenblum says his mother had fallen victim to a scam. Almost all of her life savings, $120,000 in the win. My mother had never wired money before in her entire life. She got a message on her laptop. The one of the things that she enjoyed doing was getting on Facebook and emailing her friends uh, who've moved away from Memphis. Uh, and she sees this message, your computer's been hacked. And she panicked. This lawsuit was filed almost one year later. It says the message Maureen received was from Microsoft's fraud department. A man named Josh, the lawsuit says, told her to transfer $95,000 into protected accounts to prevent her money from being stolen. Josh gave her banking information for an account at Hang Seng Bank in Hong Kong. The lawsuit alleges Maureen was instructed to tell bank employees the money was for a family medical emergency, but things didn't end there. She was told by this Josh fella to go back to the bank the following day and to wire $25,000 more to a man named Shen Chao Sin at Standard Chartered Bank in Hong Kong and Regents Bank again allowed her to do it. According to the lawsuit, Maureen was asked about the second transferred by a security officer after a teller reported the transaction. She told her family everything on December 3rd. Rosenblum says they called the security officer asking them to recall the wired money. The lawsuit claims they were told the bank couldn't recall the money until the following Monday, advising them to file a report with the police, despite Rosenblum urging them not to wait. By the time Monday afternoon came around, Rosenblum says, the money was gone. I'm hopeful that Regions will do what I think is the right thing by calling and apologizing and saying, please dismiss your lawsuit. We'd like to reimburse your mother uh, for the money that we allowed to be defrauded from her. So the lawsuit also alleges Maureen was not told about a process to recover large international wire transfers within 72 hours and also claims the bank failed to train employees to prevent transactions when there's suspicions and protect customers from fraud and abuse. Now she's asking to be awarded the money she lost and at least $500,000 in damages. In studio tonight, Bria Bolden, Action News 5. Bria, thank you. We did reach out to Regions Bank for a comment about the Rosenblum's lawsuit. A spokesperson told us today, while we do not comment on pending litigation, we can share that our priority every day is helping customers conduct the transactions they request while making them aware of the risks of fraud. Regions also makes fraud prevention information available online to anyone, regardless of whether they are customers of the bank.